most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary <clears throat> for the Pope to consecrate Russia as Our Lady asked for the conversion of poor sinners for the souls in purgatory for all our intentions in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Amen I believe in God the Father Almighty Creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ His only Son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase of the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, like the Blessed Mothers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gloria, from the dead, for an increase of the virtue of faith like the martyrs, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Holy Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this land of the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this land of the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gloria Patria. Second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, for the great desire to see the face of the Most Holy Trinity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. of the gifts of the Holy Ghost and of the great supernatural charity. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Well, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory of of the Blessed Virgin Mary, body and soul, into heaven, for the souls in purgatory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
and our blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to Purchase for us the rewards of eternal life. 
Grant we beseech thee that we will meditate upon the mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. Saint Edmund Campion, pray for us. Saint Margaret Clitheroe, pray for us. Saint Blessed Margaret Ward, pray for us. Saint John Southwell, pray for us. Saint Thomas Abel, pray for us. Saint Oliver Plunkett, pray for us. All ye holy angels and archangels, pray for us. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. And may the souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.
Filipus alter inventus es in asotulum, et per tansi de evangelisava civitatibus cum tibi. Dorit venidit cesaria, nomen domini, Iesu Christi. Sepulchrum Christ. 
María estaba con el momento en Polis, Flora. Dumer go cleret inclinarice e prospexi in monumentus. Et vidin dos angelos in alvis, sedentes unum a caput en unum a pede, ubit vositum fuera corpus Jesu. Nicuteis, ilis, Mulier sweet Flora, Nicite, Quia Pulerum Dominum Meum, Et Necio with Posuerum Teum. Ecum Dixis et Conversa et Reproxum, Et Vidi Jesum Stampe, Et Non Cieva Quia Jesus Est. Nicite, Jesus, Mulier qui flora, quen quen queri. Ila existimas qui autulanus eser, dicitei. Domine, si tu suscolisti eum, dicito mihi, ubi posuisti eum, utego eum dola. Dicitei, Iesu, Maria, conversa e la dicitei, Raboni, o dicitu magistri, dicitei, Iesu, non i me tanti, non domeni ma scendi a patre meo, vade autem a fratres meos, e dicei, ascendo a patre meo, e patre vestri, 
Deo meo me Deo vestro. Veni Maria Magdalene, anuncias discipuli, qui abidi domino, et ex dixit In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the Prodigal Son Mass, which being in the octave of Easter is the Mass of the Easter Thursday. And it's a joy for Father Ruiz, who flew in from Querétaro, Mexico, and I to come in... <coughs> give the traditional St. Ignatian exercises to 12 fine ladies here in England. You are prayed for in the Mass, and today, as part of the retreat, you made your general confessions, and now that your souls have been washed and sparkling and shining now in the precious blood of Jesus, he is now going to feed you with his own divine body, blood, soul, and divinity. Come and taste and see how sweet the Lord is. Taste and see the sweetness of the divine heart of Jesus who wants to fill your souls with his increase of sanctifying grace, a stronger faith, and uh, to live with the hope of heaven. So that when you leave this retreat, you go as salt in this tasteless world to put some flavor to it, the flavor of Christ. To be lights in this dark world, to spread the light and the sweet odor of Christ. By your good example, by your words of charity, by your strong defense of the faith. <clears throat> and like another St. Joan of Arc or Judith, or Sarah, or Rebecca, to stand up and defend the Holy Catholic faith and encourage your sons like many heroic women and mothers, encourage their sons and daughters to even face death and torture for the Holy Faith. How many mothers, no doubt in England, would have encouraged their sons don't go to that new mass of Thomas Cromwell. Thomas Cranmer. <clears throat> Don't go to that new mass of Elizabeth I. Don't go to that the Anglican service started by Henry VIII. Don't go to that. It's not our Catholic faith. Yeah, but it's in Latin. Yeah, but they still have statues. Yes, but they still have the old altar. Not for long. And the new religion replaced the old one, and many good mothers saw their sons go to death on the scaffold of, in the Tyburn tree rather than compromise with the new religion. And many heroine mothers took in priests like St. Margaret Clitheroe and risked their lives, risked their whole livelihood, because many of these good Catholics were arrested or heavily fined. <clears throat> tortured and put to death. And that's the price of following our dear Lord. And didn't he warn us, who wishes to come after me, let him renounce himself, pick up his cross, and follow me every day. And we, ought, we Catholics count it a great privilege and honor to suffer anything for the name of our Lord. So today you make your, as it were, your first communion, for the 12 ladies, and then we have a true First Communion for our, our, uh, our son and brother, Joseph, who was just baptized and renounced the Muslim infidelity yesterday, was baptized and incorporated into the mystical body of Christ. He is now 
enlisted on the church militant, and today he will be fed with the food of heaven itself, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. What happiness, what a joy for all of us to receive our Lord again, and make this, as it were, your first Holy Communion. Beg our Lord the grace to become saints. Beg our Lord the grace to love Him with all your heart, all your strength, all your mind, all your capacity. Beg our Lord to lead others to heaven and take others with you on the road to God. St. Mary Magdalene is spoken of in this Gospel. She's there at the, the empty tomb of our Lord. She is so absorbed in the love of our Lord and, and seeking her beloved that she doesn't even realize when she peers into the sepulcher that it's two angels speaking to her. Most people would immediately pick that up, but her heart is so focused on our Lord, she doesn't even realize she's talking with angels. But then she sees the angels say to her, why are you looking here? Why are you weeping? And they look behind her and bow profoundly. And she turns around because they, she knows they're looking at someone. And she turns around and she sees who she takes, mistakenly to be the gardener and the cemetery caretaker. And she says to him in her panicky love, Sir, Tell me where you took the body. I will take the body. I'll take it from you, and I'll take care of it and bury it properly. And she's rattling on. And our Lord says one word and touches her heart deeply, Maria. Maria. And she read it. She, the grace opens her eyes, and she sees this is our divine Lord. She goes to his feet to hug his feet and kiss them, her favorite place. Archbishop Sheen always says, you look at Mary Magdalene, where is she always? At the feet of our Lord. She's always at his feet. At Bethany, on the cross, at the banquet, and here at the resurrection. But our Lord touches her on the forehead and says, Noli me tangere, don't touch me yet. Go tell Peter and the apostles that, that, that I go to my God and your God, to my Father and your Father. Go, go tell them. <laughs> so in that you see that tender, paternal, divine love of the Sacred Heart, that he's worried about St. Peter, he's worried about his apostles. And some people ask, well, why did our Lord didn't let her hug his feet? Well, on that very day, our Lord appeared again to the three Marys, and St. Mary Magdalene was there. And it's there the scripture says they got to hug and kiss our Lord, and all the hugs and kisses took place. But our Lord saved it for later because he's concerned about his first pope and bishops. And our Lord spoke to Mary her name in a way that she remembers because it was probably Mary Magdalene who may have been standing behind a tree or behind a big rock when our Lord was one day a year before preaching to the crowds and he was telling them about the famous prodigal son. How a son told his father, I'm young, I'm strong, I want my inheritance, I'm out of here. This is slavery at the house. I want my own liberty and, and I want my own apartment and I want to get my car and my own job. And the father pleads with his son and he says, you have a good job here. You're, you're part of my business and you're part of our family. We love you dearly. Don't hurt your mother like this. But he, he's stubborn, and he's rebellious, and he demands his inheritance, and he marches off. And he goes off to a far territory, and our Lord, telling this parable, mentions how he squandered all his money. But while he had money, he had many friends, many drinking buddies. But the money doesn't last forever, and it quickly depletes. And he has to go look for a job, and he finds a cruel tyrant of an employer who is the devil and he goes to work at a pig farm and he's so in such a state of poverty he's feeding pigs and he's so hungry that he even wants to eat 
what the pigs are eating. And it's after weeks and months of this that he thinks back of his father's house, the joy he used to have, how he was, everything was all there, and there was so much love, so much care in the family, and how he remembered how he broke his mother's heart, and he really broke his father's heart. And grace moved him. And as our Lord is preaching this, St. Mary Magdalene is listening to, to, to this because she's in her state of prostitution. She's far from God like that prodigal son. And she's listening and her heart is being touched by grace and she's moved to tears because this is her, the prodigal child. But the son says, I will go to my father. I will go back to my father's house. And what's beautiful, what our Lord points out, is this young man, it's not just a volition, it's not just wishful thinking, like many do. Oh, I'll get to confession next week. I'll come back to God in a month. And delay, and delay, and the devil just gets a stronger grip, and habits of sin set in, and it makes it much harder for their conversion. But he gets up and he goes. And just as he stormed out of his father's house, he resolutely storms out of that cruel master's pig farm. And he travels long and far back to his father's house. Now notice what our Lord, he gives a detail that is very touching and very revealing of the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Most Holy Trinity. Our Lord brings out the detail. Notice the Father is out there every morning looking far on the horizon, looking all down all the dirt roads, looking for his son to come back. That is such a touching scenario given by Christ himself, given by the Sacred Heart, because he, from all eternity, because God can see the whole future, from all eternity he has loved souls and desired them to come back to him. He has thought of you by name. He knows your birthday. He knew the day you'd be born. He knew you would be on this retreat. He knew that Joseph, newly baptized, would make now his come back to his father's house by baptism and Holy Communion and a good confession. And so the father, one day, longing for his son, praying for his son, he sees this shadowy figure come above the horizon. And it gets closer and closer, and he realizes it's a young man. And immediately he assumes and hopes it's his son. And he runs to him. Again, a touching detail of our Lord, of the Sacred Heart. He runs to him, and seeing him closer and closer, embraces him, kisses him, hugs him with a huge bear hug, and he orders the servants, bring the ring, bring new sandals, and kill the fatted calf, and prepare a huge banquet, prepare a feast. And what is this fatted calf to feed the whole, his son and his family again, his famished son? It is the sacrifice of the mass, says St. Gregory the Great. Our Lord prepares a great feast for you today. The Holy Ghost is the servant and will give you to drink of the most precious blood. And the Father calls you to the banquet of his divine Son, sacrificed on the altar, where you will drink of that sweet wine, the delicious wine of Christ's precious blood. You will eat of his divine heart on fire, his body, blood, soul, and divinity. Look at the goodness of God that feeds our souls and strengthens us in this combat for heaven. When all the armies of hell are trying to dissuade us, shake us from the faith, get us to live in mortal sin and fall in mortal sin, we're facing huge armies of hell. Blessed Aunt Catherine Emmerich said, there are so many devils that if they took on bodies, they would block the sunlight. So see the goodness of the father, and he celebrates, and he puts a ring on his son, showing he gives back sanctifying grace. He gives shoes on him, new shoes, and feeds him, because this is what our Lord does to a soul that returns to him. 
So come back now to your Father's house. Come and embrace the heart of Jesus, who wants to fill your souls with his grace and strengthen you to fight for the Holy Trinity, to fight in the army of the church militant. And look at all our friends in heaven, the saints, armies and armies of saints, virgins, martyrs, confessors, doctors, all the saints of all ages who are there now cheering us on in the battle. They stand like, like spectators in the bleachers, cheering on us on the battlefield. Keep going, keep running, get up if you fall. Don't be discouraged, you have heaven to obtain. So run with all our strength, like Elias the prophet, who ran 40 days and 40 nights, eating the meal prepared by the angel. And that prefigures the Holy Eucharist, whereby we feed on our divine Lord, who helps us run through the 40 days and 40 nights of this life on earth. So let us turn to the Virgin Mary. Certainly, when the prodigal son came back, he embraced his mother, who he hurt and wounded so much. And the Blessed Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, welcomes you back to her Immaculate Heart and wants to console you and strengthen you to stand with her at the foot of the cross in this passion of the church, of the church's history. So St. Mary Magdalene, hearing this parable, she gets up and runs away because it's crushing her heart. And she converts. By now, she's converted. And she hears that our Lord is going to dinner that night at, at Simon the Pharisee's house. And everybody fears the Pharisees. They're powerful. They've got money. they got power and influence. They run the media, after all. They're in charge of the synagogue of Satan, after all. And they still are. But she doesn't care. She has no more human respect. And she goes in the middle of that banquet and goes right to our Lord. Where? At his feet. And she breaks open her alabaster ointment which is very expensive and fills the whole room with fragrance and washes his feet with her tears, drives them with her hair. And the Pharisees, all afraid of contamination, do you say, say, my goodness, if he was a prophet, he would know that this is a filthy woman touching him. And that's when our Lord taught Simon a lesson and all the Pharisees, that she who loves much will be forgiven much. And she loved much, and now, today, she goes to the empty tomb looking for her beloved, and she finds him, and she finds him waiting for her. So what happiness that we can call God our true God and call him truly our Father by sanctifying grace. It's not just words, but truth, because he dwells in us by sanctifying grace. His blood transfusion of his divine son fills our veins. So let's beg the mother of God to give us always to be faithful, to persevere in the battle of the faith, and to truly love God above all things, love our neighbor in the love of Christ and Christ crucified. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us every cost to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us every cost to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us every cost to thee. And for those who do not have recourse to thee, especially all communists and Freemasons, and other enemies of Holy Mother Church, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. <coughs> Oh, no. 
Oh, oh, oh. 
Wer sind die Terrorfreunde? Wer sind die Hannibal-Stifte? Wer ist die Polizei? 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 Seriat o Deus omnipotente Deus, e de mim se especa e veste e espelho cada vossa vida na eterna. Indulgência e absolução e remissão dos pecadores de sua. Viva a Deus omnipotente e misericórdia. Esse é o Senhor. Esse pitoli peccata mundi, domine non sum digno su te e su tecto meo, se tanto mi prego e sanavi tu anima mea, domine non sum digno su te e su tecto meo, se tanto mi prego e sanavi tu anima mea, domine non sum digno su te e su tecto meo, se tanto mi prego e sanavi tu anima mea. Cotus a mim, nosso Jesus Cristo, custata em mantua e vida na terra. Yeah. 
Sancti Comercia, vite nobis conferantes, presentis auxilium, et gavia sempiterna concili. Per Dominum Noscum Jesum Christum Filium Tuum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen.
Dominus Obiscus, et un spiritu tu. Jesus Christ is risen today. Salvation approaches. 